Oh, I'll ask my question later. Yes, good. Oh, okay. Um, so, Lorem Ipsum, it's okay to use just to fill in? Yeah, yeah. I would uh, use words that kind of relate to what you're doing. Does that make sense? Right. So I don't, don't, I mean, we're going to, I'm going to do a layout here on living on the moon, um, just some story, but, um, you know, make it kind of related, you know, don't do a story about flamingos and the, you know, you're doing a story in the moon. Don't do one. Don't add copy that's about flamingos. And when is this due? Um, it's going to be due the last day of class. So we've got plenty of time on that. So let me get a new window opened here. Okay, so down here on the website, we're getting long, we got a lot of classes. Um, there's these two. So there's the layout, which is an InDesign file that you can drop in and open it up in InDesign. And then this is PDF, it's just kind of the same thing. So there's the cover, the articles, kind of where they go and then the third article. So um, again, the, these two should be both the same. Um, and then we're going to do this here. So that you should be able to grab this off the, the website now. So the InDesign layout, you can actually open that up in InDesign. And that's going to be basically this, where we started working on this last class and we did the cover. Um, today, we're going to work on an article. Okay. Um, so I just want to kind of go through that for us today. All right. Um, does that help with that? mock-up question and again if you have questions let me know um i think that should kind of lead you down the right path with that other questions concerns as we're going through here <clears throat> um look okay, and any other question when is it due it's going to be due the last class so um we've got couple weeks on that let me just see what are we at? i think we're three weeks out at this point um, i think the 20th is our last class at this point i believe that is correct so one two three weeks from today okay so we have three full weeks of class between now and the end of the semester. Um, so with that in mind, um, please just let me know. You can put in the chat or send me an email. If there's other things you wanna get covered <clears throat> that we haven't covered, whether it be something special in one of the programs or something completely different, um, you know, you wanna want me to talk about, I don't know, how to, how to build a website or what things you're going to consider on a website or, um, you know, how to do social media marketing again, or any of those kind of things. Just let me know. Uh, we've got the, the class time that we can uh, build that in. Okay. So, um, let me know what questions we might have and I'd be more than happy to put something together so we can talk about that stuff. All right. Um, let's check to see anybody else came in. Did we get to know about? Okay, Cole came in. All right, I think I've got everybody so far. Um, all right, so let's kind of go through a layout, and we're going to today work with this article number one. And ultimately, as we go through, I'm going to go through all of this. So it's all kind of done um, just so you can kind of see. And each time I'll probably be 
you know, focusing on something a little bit new um, when it comes to the layout and, and how it's being done. So um, the other class, last class, I grabbed this picture that was found on the on the Google. Um, so we're going to use that as kind of a background picture. And then I grabbed some text um, last class also on that. So again, I just kind of Googled living on the moon or something like that was the article. Um, and we're going to just use that. Now, again, I'm not reading this thing to it's 100% accurate. Um, but it is related to living on the moon. So it just will make sense. And, and, and the reason I say that, because if you know, people look at it, it's, it, I just wanted to kind of balance out. Because if I had an article on, like I said, penguins, and I'm supposed to be laying out an article on living on the moon, it just looks off. And if you were to ever show this to anybody, um, it'd be like, why is the penguin article there and you're talking about the moon? Or why is you showing the moon and you're talking about penguins? Uh, it gets into areas, I, 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 wanna, I do this because as you guys start to go and, and grow and start to do things more for a portfolio kind of thing, um, you want them to work, look at the work and concentrate on the work, not be um, distracted by something that has nothing to do with anything. You just, you know, I, so I, I want you to kind of make things kind of coordinate as we go, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense to, um, I don't know, we'll go back to the penguins. To put up a picture of a penguin, you know, you did a really great photo or illustration of a penguin, and then you're, you're doing a, a, a travel poster for, um, I don't know, Ohio, right? It's like, what's Ohio got to do with penguins? So unless you're talking about the Ohio Zoo, it wouldn't make any sense, okay? So um, I don't want people to start to question what you did and why you did it from that kind of standpoint. I want them to look at the work and look at your creativity. Um, so they have questions about, it's about that, not about something that totally benign and means nothing. Okay, so that's why we're picking or grabbing articles that are quote related to what we're gonna be um, doing our stories on. Make sense? Okay. <clears throat> um, one thing I want to go over real quick is just kind of image search again. Um, so I just Googled the moon and when you start to get things um, normally, you're gonna get this, right? You're just gonna get pictures. So I don't know. Where's my penguin? I don't know why I got penguins on the mind today. They're cute little birds. Um, so you get penguins <clears throat> and that's cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but we don't know if these are quality, meaning that we don't know if the pictures are big enough to start to use. So we, we decided we want photographs of penguins. Um, and then what I want you to do is under your image searches, go under tools and you get a little bit of drop down here um, and you can do other options. So the one I really want you to focus on because it's important is to go to large. And what that's gonna do is gonna kind of get rid of anything that's small that's going to probably become pixelated when you add it to an article. Um, other things you can think about, not necessarily now because we're, we're students and we're working, um, but if you're going to start to do projects for other people, you want to look at the rights. Okay, um, so Creative Commons means basically you can use it for the most part. Um, commercial means it's going to be something you have to end up buying or it's being used like, you know, iStock, or it's kind of copyrighted. So um, take a look at that. And that's, again, it's gonna select down the pictures that you can use. Um, and most of them should be coming from a place that allows you to use them. Some will have restrictions, but you can read through those pretty quickly. For the sake of quote education, um, you can kind of do whatever you need. Okay, so there really is no kind of restrictions on images that way. Um, but let me just kind of go through and, you know, so we've got that picture and then here's that picture and it says it's um, 29,000 by 26,000 um, or, or 2,600 by 3,900 3, by 2,600. So that's a pretty big size, right? These are all in pixels. Um, so that's pretty large compared to something like it's, you know, 600 pixels by 400 pixels and that's tiny. Okay. 
So you're trying to look for better and larger images that will work uh, for your layouts and look well. So I'm gonna go back to my moon and I'm gonna go to tools again. I'm gonna go to size and go large. Um, and again, there's other options in here for colors, um, type of file. Um, I guess when they were posted, I'm not really sure on that one. Um, I guess it's if you're looking for something current, right? You could find something that's been posted online in the last 24 hours or such. So um, once we have that, and again, we're not worried about copyright as much on this. Um, we, we've got these images that we can start to look at from a design standpoint, and this is always a good one. And I, you know where this came from, right? It all came from NASA because they're the only ones that have been on the moon uh, physically. Uh, I know some other countries have been there and have um, have some robotic things going on. But if you look at this, I mean, this is a huge image, um, which will end up printing very, very nicely uh, when we go to lay this thing out. So let me just kind of go through images and how we want to put those on the page um, and the likes with that. So we've got this first um, really big image, okay? And, um, you know, if I was going to use this, you can see it's got a, a it's layout is covering both pages, the, the spread as we call it, from right to left. And, and I can size this down to fit exactly on the page um, or I can leave it large. So basically it's gonna print from edge to edge. Okay, so there's no white area or anything like that um, when this would print out. Now, <clears throat> assuming we want to use this photograph um, and then we wanna put text in there, what do you guys foresee as a problem with this photograph? in the position that it is doing a full spread, full bleed on it. What kind of problems might this create? The background is busy. Yes, so explain that, explain what you're talking about. You can, you can unmute and talk for a second. There's too much detail. Okay. Where if you were to put text, it would interfere with that. So the readability wouldn't be as good. Yes, exactly. Right. So I'm, I'm going to just take this text here. We haven't done anything with it. And if I just drop it in, let me move it to the top, right? I mean, that's below. So I'm going to go to my layers and move that article up. And I mean, right away, we can start to read this down here a little bit, right? It's still a little hard because we've got a lot of lights and darks, but up top, it's already, it's completely gone. There's words here, you just can't see it because in this case, there's black words on uh, black. So if I wanted to do this, I'm really gonna have to play with the type. Um, I'm gonna have to do things like, and I'm just gonna just kind of goof here real quick. Um, Gonna have to make that white. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go zero, zero, zero. Um, so white might work, but again, it's only gonna be in that specific area. Okay, so that kind of works a little bit. I mean, it might not be too bad for parts of this. Obviously, we're still getting into problems over here where it's overlapping the moon. Um, so that could be an issue. It's, we still have problems down here with the black. So, you know, again, what do we do here? This is a tough one, right? Because you would want something light on top of the word or on top of the picture, um, something dark, but then you get these dark spots here. So again, it's gonna be a lot of kind of issues um, that are happening with that. So is the picture good, bad, or different? Yes, I think the picture is a good picture, but when you're doing something large scale like this, you really got to think about, can I read or can the people read the article? Because that's why they're here. So things that we can do, we'll, we'll call them tricks. Um, 
is to give a give the the type a a kind of a background, kind of a a, a photo box or a background box. We did this in Photoshop also. So I'm just going to kind of do a, a separate box here, and I'm going to make that box white. And then I'm going to move that backwards. I'm just going back to my layers. I'm going to put that below my text. So now we can read the text on top of that white surface. So that, again, that makes it very, very easy to read and we can kind of do what we want. Um, we can even take that box and kind of drop its opacity down. So I'm going over the properties. Let me scale this in. And I can go to opacity here and I can drop it down a little bit. And you can still see at 73% or so, 70%, 60, 50, we're still, we're still pretty legible with the text. Um, but you know, this 70% or so isn't too bad where we can read the text and, and also start to see the picture in the background. Okay, so um, not too bad there. Now I want to preview because um, I was, basing my layout on the picture, which is probably not a good idea. Um, I want to see where my guides are and where my pages are. So I'm going to come back to this picture itself and I'm going to drop its opacity down just so I can do my layouts. Okay, because I know it's going to go there. Um, but if I don't do it this way, I lose kind of my borders and my frames and all those kind of things of what I want. So. In this case, I need to resize my um, text box to fit on the page. Again, I'm just kind of putting it in place right now because I'm not super worried. Um, and I'm going to come back through and do my text layout and, and boxes later. Um, say to the, um, you, you, the bleed, you should have, if you're going to build a bleed, then you should build a bleed. Um, and again, the bleed is that overlap of the picture here. You can see that's quite a substantial. It's probably we're almost a half inch bleed, which is more than what you need. Um, so yeah, I would say feel free to build in the bleed um, to your articles if you're doing a full page spread. Um, it's just good habit to get into. Um, so as you start to work down the line later, you're not forgetting that kind of thing. So if the picture is going to be coming off the page, again, that's the bleed. Um, give it that extra area. And here we can see that blue box, that blue bounding box here is the bleed for that photograph. Okay. Other things to be concerned with um, is here in the gutter, okay, which is this middle area. And um, Again, you want to give yourself um, a gap. You don't want to put things here in the middle, the gutter area, as we call it, um, because it gets folded over um, and it makes things hard to read. Um, my magazines. Find something with, with the spread. So here's a, a, a two page article. Or, Pretty, pretty text heavy, but you'll see in here, the gutter, there's a gap. And that gap is basically um, also the same as what they're kind of using elsewhere. Because if you put it, put words in there, they kind of get cut off and it becomes a little difficult to read. Now for pictures, um, you can go through the gap, which we're doing here. Um, and here's an example of a photo going through the gap. But one thing you don't want to do is put a face in this gutter. Okay, because again, it'll get fold it and print it weird um, and it will become an issue, okay? It will look visually wrong. So um, you never wanna kind of put a photo of a person in the gutter. With this earth image, it won't matter. That should be fine. Um, but people will get kind of squished and kind of goofy there. So um, definitely watch that gutter for what you're putting in there and what's going into it. I mean, a lot of times you'll find stuff like this where we have, in this case, one case uh, words with some pictures, and then this side is basically all pictures with a few words. So again, this is, again, fairly typical of a kind of a magazine um, layout. And then this is pretty typical of a um, 
multi-page layout. So this is getting into this article's four, five pages. So we've got a nice big call out for the article um, with some text, introductory text, and some imagery, and then some big bold imagery here on the right to kind of balance it out. So again, this is pretty typical of a magazine. So that's the first two pages in this spread. And then we pull up the second pages. And then we had that second page over here. Okay, and then that completed the article. So it's basically a four page spread for the article, two two page spreads. Okay, um, sometimes it's like this case, it's just a two page spread, right? So we've got an image, we've got all the body copy, we've got a little pull quote over here. Um, and then we've got the rest of the article and it kind of ends over here. Okay, so pretty he text heavy. Um, but again, it's just kind of more of an informational article um, to be done. Not They're not trying to kill it with a lot of, uh, of pictures in there. Okay. Um, not questions on that, that may kind of make sense. So <clears throat> as you're working your layouts, and again, we, we talked about, you know, coming back here to Google, And just kind of Googling, you know, magazine layouts. Okay, just to kind of get an idea. So whether you physically have magazines um, or you're trying to look at them, um, you know, feel free to Google. Let me see, this is a kicker the headline, byline, white space, cool quote. This is kind of, I'm gonna save this one for you guys. So this is kind of interesting. I'll put that up on the web page. Um, so, you know, look at examples, kind of get a feel for it. Um, again, we're not dealing super long articles, so it's they're not super complicated, uh, but, you know, lay those out. And I'm, I am totally fine with some kind of little short article like this. Does that make sense? Um, you know, or something like this. So um, it doesn't need to be this complicated thing. And in fact, we have text and we're gonna cut the text off. Okay, so I'm not as worried about um, ultimately the article is right and I get the full story. Um, I really want you to kind of work on, on laying these things out at this point. Um, and again, there's you know awesome, cool, good examples here of how this can be done, okay? Um, so feel free to be creative, does that make sense? I don't want you to, um, you know, feel that you're being stifled with your design abilities. You know, again, if you see something you like, you're like, wow, this is kind of cool. I like the typography and such. Feel free to emulate that. I mean, this is how we work as designers. Um, it's pretty common. I mean, this is what we do, right? I'm going to go, wow, that's kind of cool. I'm going to replace this kind of look and feel with my own. Okay. It's going to be different, um, different type, colors, everything else. But, you know, it's just kind of a way to kind of get your mind going, you know, likewise with this one. Now, in this case, over undercovering the arts, I would do this typography in Photoshop, okay, because of the way the type is intermixing with uh, the photo. For you know, this same thing here with this this one here with Lady Lady Gaga um, would be better and easier to do that in Photoshop. But we have something like this um, this over here on the right. I'm um, sorry, left is going to be um, photoshopped, put together. But this on the left, um, I'm sorry, on the right, this could all be done in InDesign. Does that make sense? So again, depending on how the picture and the type work, this InDesign, okay? Because it's just on top of the photo. It's not a big deal. Um, same thing here. This is InDesign. It's all done on top. But when we start to get to kind of the text interweaving and such like that, that's where you're going to want to do that in something like Photoshop. Okay. So if it's something like this, just do it up in um, InDesign. And again, you're looking at things. Here's two pull quotes. Okay. And some type is working. This is very, I mean, it's very fun. It's very interactive. And then the shape becomes a, a thing of itself. And there's kind of a rhythm going on here. Um, and it's very nicely done. So Make sure you're looking at your inspiration 
um, to get you going. Okay. Um, and in fact, I like this. I'm going to pull this as my inspiration just to show you how this is done. I'm going to just drag this over. And I'm just going to drop it because I want that to be um, how we're going to start to lay this thing out. All right. So let me just close that up. Um, questions so far? Anybody? American in. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to do a layout based upon this article. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this moon. I want to make kind of this big horizontal with it. Um, and then we've got, in this case, a color behind this one side. And then we've got text and we've got kind of a title over here. So, Again, I'm going to just kind of mock this up as an inspirational thing. Um, behind here, I've got these. Let me get rid of that for now. I'm going to move this away. I'm going to get rid of these boxes to say article because I don't need those. Um, and what to do in here? They have a photo, and it's going to be something like. Let me go back there. I'm going to now pick the picture, and I'm going to pull it back to its opacity so you can see it. And I'm going to select the picture inside. And you can say, now I have the golden kind of uh, frame so I can move it around. What I want to do is I want to move it up so I can maybe see, there we go. That's kind of nice where I've got the moon and I've got the, the earth. Um, and I could even maybe move that down a little bit. Maybe I don't cut it off as much. So that might mean, let me just do this. I'm going to make that picture box just a hair bigger. Because I want to, I don't want to cut off the earth because it's so such a dramatic picture. I just want it to be very, very close to the top there. And now we've got our picture. Um, we have it bleeding off the edges. And again, you can kind of see that's kind of where I'm working from here. Um, and I'm just kind of looking at these things as a as a reference point as I'm kind of working. Um, and then we've got over here the title, and then our title. I, I'm taking it from our cover, which was Living on the Moon. Um, and in fact, I can just, I'm going to just copy that for now. Option and copy. And then of course the white on the white doesn't work, but I'm going to leave it white because I think I'm going to do a, a, I'll do a color background also. So I'm just going to do a, a, a box. I'm just going to pull this in here and I'm going to give that a color. Um, So now we've got our picture and I'm going to size this for now to be the exact size of my paper, just so I can lay this out and I can always come back and extend this to get my bleed. But for my layout standpoint, I, for you guys, I just wanted you to see where it is. Um, and then we'll make sure we're on the edge of the page there. And I'm going to move that to the uh, background. Okay, so now we have living on the moon. You can see that here. Um, I, I want to bump that up a little bit. I'm going to select them both and I'm going to just kind of scale it. My text box up. And what are we at now? We're at 72. I'm going to just make that 150 point, make that twice as big. And then we're going to have living on the moon. We're going to bump that up to 72. So now again, I'm just kind of laying these things out as to how I want. And again, they're going to be completely different here. I think last time I had the moon, right, coming through, the G coming through to the two O's. Um, in this case, it won't just because of how I scaled it. And again, I don't need to use the same typeface. I could, right? 
Um, but I'll change it just so you can see it being done with alternative typefaces. So right now my text is so big, it's not showing up. Let me see how big I need to make that. Black, ooh, this is big type. There it is. Okay, so I just have a new typeface that I played here. Um, So here we have the, the um, G behind the M. And again, if I want to change that, say, hey, I want the, this living to be up top, come back to my layers um, and just kind of move it up. And now it's on top. Okay. And maybe I want to change that color. I'm gonna make it something a little bit different than white. I want to, uh, let's go a little, a little crazy. Let's go some magenta. Um, Okay, and it's not popping the way I want. So let me come back. Again, I'm just kind of working here. This is what we're doing as a designer. We're just kind of figuring out what works for us, what doesn't work. Um, all right, we'll leave it for there for now. So we have Living on the Moon, that's our title. And then we can see we've got um, a little article and they did a nice job of kind of tucking it in with this G. So that was kind of very nicely done. I don't have that um, anything on this that I want to worry about with that, but I'm going to put, the, put an article in. So I'm just going to go to um, my type tool and I'm just going to kind of put an article over here. And I'm going to copy, let's say the first paragraph from my story. I'm going to paste that in. Let me zoom up a little bit. Um, you know, and this because it's the first article or first story, I may kind of increase it a little bit. So I'm going to push it up to like say 15 point, um, and I want to justify it. So I'm going to do a justified here. Now, this is where we start to kind of figure out what do we want and how big we want it. Um, I'm not crazy about the word imagination being. Um, hyphenate it on this. So I could either push it to the next line and to do that, I can just do a shift return. Um, and that kind of gets rid of the hyphenation, um, kind of what they call it a hard return. So I'm doing that. And then I'm going to look and see, do I have too many rivers? You can see I'm getting some pretty big gaps up here. So um, things I might want to do is maybe I'll make this type um, a little larger see if that helps. So at this point now I only have the word buildings that's hyphenated. That's not too bad. Uh, and then we might want to go to a medium and that's helping a little bit there on that. Um, but actually before that, let me pick a typeface because this was default, the mignon. Let me just find one that I want to use for the article. So when you're looking at your body copy, um, you, you're looking for something that's legible. Um, so typically these are gonna be your serifs or your sans serifs. If you have a subhead, um, they can be in a more decorative typeface um, because they're bigger, they're smaller and they can be red. You definitely don't wanna to go to something that's an all cap. Um, because again, that makes things very difficult to read over a period of time. Um, let me go to Super Clarion. And I'm going to bump that down in size because I just want to get that one article in. 
and I'm going to look at it in the light version. That's not too bad. And things I can also do is I can also maybe open up my box a little bit and see if that does anything. Again, I'm doing it a little bit. We're going to see. I still got a couple hyphens in there that I don't want, but um, it's see, this is what we call a river. See this big gap in here? That in the middle of the big gap here. We're trying to avoid those. Okay. Um, so sometimes we're having to do some modifications. And we can either, again, we can either move text to the next line. But again, look at that gap that created. That's really bad. Okay. So um, it's oftentimes it comes as kind of tug of war when you're building these things out. Um, and again, we're, because we're on the, the title page of this story, um, we're, we're trying to be more careful. When we get over here to the body copy where all the text is, like over on this page, um, we, we got a little bit more freedom, okay? So this one I'm being a little more careful with when I get over here to my, my, my dual text boxes. We're gonna have one there. And I'm gonna copy that over. We have a second one here. And then I'll just kind of line those in. Uh, and we're gonna put the text in that. So let me just select all my text here. I'm gonna just paste that in and then we'll, we'll continue that in a second here. So on this side over here, I've got a little more freedom. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm selecting the text. I want the text to extend and I'm gonna drop it here. And we see that by the, the red, cross in the box the text continues on the story continues on that's fine i'm not worried about the full story but we're going to have text that's going to kind of work with what we're doing so before we get back to this side let's finish up this side um so i've got the word people and it's not like working perfectly for me just kind of scale a little bit in and then we go back to imagination here and people um And I'm just looking at the text size. What are we at? We are at 14. So I want to be pretty big with this. I'm going to push it back to 15. And I'm going to open this text box up a little bit. Um, we're back to the people hyphenation. Um, again, I'm just kind of, I'm manually coming back and forth with this. So we have buildings here. And, and you know, let me do one more thing before I get crazy. I want to do a little indent. All right, we're gonna do a um, um, drop cap. So I'm gonna put a drop cap in with that T. Again, it's gonna like, I'm going all out. Two, mm. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it there. I'm gonna force Lunar. And I created a whole bunch of hyphens, so I don't want that. Um, let me just move it open a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe <laughs> Yeah, see that was a look at that. That's see that's a river. That's huge, right? That's totally looks bad. Um, I keep coming back to that people. That's crazy. And I'm just trying to figure out what's going to be my best option. And we'll, we'll come to an option soon. I think we're, we're going to stick with this here. So we've, we've got this kind of bold text. You can kind of see where we're kind of coming from this, but we're being, we're doing a little different. Um, you know, and maybe, you know what, I'm going to come back and get rid of that drop cap. And that's going to change everything again, but we're, we're going to do that first. We'll put a drop cap on the other side. Okay, so we got the word imagination. Building, that's better. We have the word buildings, hyphenate it. Um, so that's there. And we're gonna call that for good for now. Now I'm gonna come back over here to this side. Now I said I want to, to hyphen or drop cap that first one. So we're gonna go 
here, that's two lines. And right here, if I want to be more, I can do like the whole word, right? So I can add in letters here. Now this typically you do drop caps manually um, so you can get what you want. Now, why would you do more? If it was the word two, you wouldn't want to drop cap just the T would do the whole, whole word because of that O. With the word the, it's not too bad. I think that, that can work. Um, now, remember we talked about paragraphing because we have a blank space between paragraphs, um, we do not need to indent, okay? So we're not, we're not pushing the type in because we've got that extra gap in there. Now, in this case, we've got an extra gap here, I can see, um, and we're okay here. But we do have this word time kind of floating out here. Remember we talked about the, the, the widows, orphans, and all that kind of stuff, where you try to kind of get rid of something like that. So what can I do to get rid of that? Well, I can kind of lead down this whole, or track down this whole line. So I'm gonna go up here to my tracking. You see if it's zero, and if I do five, I pull that back up. I'm gonna minus 10, I'm gonna do minus three. That doesn't do it. Maybe minus four. Okay, so what I was able to do by doing that minus four, it, you're not going to be able to visually see that, that this is different tracking than this line, but it's enough to pull that T back up. Okay, that word time. All right, so it's not sitting on that line below being kind of just kind of a hanging out there. Um, this is okay because we've got a couple words and we've got the parentheses and all that. So that's perfectly fine. Now, we have a rag here, again, which is this edge. Okay, um, and when we look back at my inspiration, they have a justified, okay? So in this case, actually, they did justify it over here on the, the front page, uh, a right justified with a, a, a left rag, which is kind of unusual, um, but it works. And then here they've got full justification going on. Um, so if I was to do what they did on that front, let's say, I'm just gonna change it just so you can see. Um, they did a left, so this is what they did in that article. Okay, I don't think it works as strong as what we were doing. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my justified here and I'm gonna justify this article over here. Again, I'm just gonna select it all and we're gonna go with a justify. Now the difference between justified and forced justified Justify, this will justify even the last line, okay? So, um, and I'll do click that so you can see. Uh, and what that does sometimes, it adds in some extra gaps in there. So you get a lot more extra possible rivers going on. So I'm gonna undo that. I just wanna justify like this. Um, and that's pretty good. What I, what I should have checked before I, I did this was actually, um, <clears throat> I didn't have to make that probably adjustment on the, um, tracking for the word time. Now I have one on, on surface. Um, so I want to, I should have fixed that, justify it first and then come back and look and see what kind of issues we got. So I'm going to get rid of this word face, which is really part of surface. And again, I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to um, reduce the tracking that did it. I'm trying to do it as little as I need to. So minus five still works. Minus four takes it to the next line. So minus five will work in this particular case. Um, and now I've got, you know, some pretty nice lines that don't have any. Whoa, I do have another one. Now I've got this one up here <clears throat> because I moved that up. We got that there. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back to um, this line. I'm gonna do the same thing, just see if I can pull that in. That's, I got two words now, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, I'm doing 10, see so even at it minus 20. If I kept going, minus 30, so I'm gonna go way down. And by that point, you can see, you can visually see how tight it's gotten, that's too much, okay? So at this point, I need to come up with some other solution. Um, 
which I might do by doing what we call, again, that forced return. I've got, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this behind 233. Again, I'm holding shift and return, and I'm pushing that over. <clears throat> and again, I don't really like that. I still don't like that hanging up there. Again, that's kind of creating a bad thing. So other options, I can reduce the letting on this, meaning the, the space between lines. So I'm gonna highlight actually the whole article and I'm gonna to come to my letting that's right now 14.4 and I'm just moving to 14, 13 did it. Um, maybe let me just bump it up 13.6, that's pretty good. Um, so we've got the word census down here. I can fix this with a forced return. So I'm okay with this hanging out. I got an extra gap here and I could just kind of return that, re reduce that. And that's looking actually pretty darn good. Um, so it's kind of, we have to work these things and kind of come back through it. So, you know, you can start to see the time they can start to go into laying out and getting things just perfect um, and getting those words just to kind of line up the way you want. Um, and, and you will literally go through and go, well, I don't like this here, El Gaffic at it. You know, so I might do a force return on that. And that just brings it to the next line. And that looks much better. Okay. Um, even here, star Splunker, pull that butt down. We've got, you know, this is a nice big word. It's, I think that's fine sitting there. If I'm still not sure with it, I can come back to lunar, do a hard return. Um, and that, I'm fine. It's not really kind of tweaking it out. I have a few hyphens going on, but I think they're fine. It's not a lot. Um, I can get rid of something like, this is always kind of where we have impact born with, with a hyphen in the word. So I might come back here and push that one out. Again, I'm doing shift return. That's pumping it down to the next line. I'm gonna leave these alone as they are. Um, again, it's trying to look at it visually, what's gonna come out best. And you can see it looks, uh, I'm gonna to go to preview. You can see, you know, how it's starting to look now, right? And so not a bad little article. Um, things we would wanna put on the page. Um, things that we have up here, we have page numbers. So we want that. And then they also have like kind of a subhead up top here. Uh, let me see what it's actually saying. Just reference it. Um, rehousing vintage lenses. Um, so this is kind of the magazine, I'm assuming, that's gonna be up there. So we could put like the air, air and space at the top there. And we could put that on a master page um, if we choose to do so. Uh, but we got a pretty good layout and you can see where we referenced it. We did not do the same, okay? But we just kind of looked at it and things that they've done up here that we could, could potentially think about is they, they've highlighted kind of like a subhead Okay, they colorize the drop cap and they also have a pull quote. Okay, in the interest of the term vintage. So we could also pull that in. So these are other things, other options that we can kind of work in um, to our designs. And we haven't gotten there yet, uh, but we could. Okay, we could easily do something like that just to kind of give it that extra little bump, right? That extra little design stop. Questions on that, when that, that layout number one that we started on here? What do you think? Looks good to me. Okay. And again, you're gonna come back. You, we've got time to work these, to tweak these, um, to continue to be inspired. And, you know, you're, you, I want you to keep looking. You're gonna go, well, I found this new article and it's got this really cool way of doing this pull quote. Let me pull that into here. Right, so you could actually, you know, do that. I'm just gonna, you know, maybe I pull that, make that box smaller, and I put a big pull quote in this kind of area. So, um, you know, I want you to kind of continue to develop and expand these as we go. Like I said, we've got three weeks left to work on these, so um, you know, definitely we have time to get these all finished up. Questions? I have a comment. Yes. Um, maybe 
I guess for future reference, mm -hmm. uh, maybe having if there's like an object in the image that you want to have uh, in the sorry in the pages I'm, I'm just considering that the earth in the living on the moon page is right in the middle of where the pages would be kind of uh <clears throat> would meet right where another very yeah mm -hmm. in the gutter uh and so you know i'm just thinking that it would be a good idea if <laughs> yeah. you say move the moon over yeah just move it yeah over. i mean that, that would be something i would play with um yeah. But yeah, you could definitely do that and no problem. Yeah. All right. You know, no even problem. if it's a little bit in the gutter like that, that would be fine. Yeah. Does that make sense? Um, again, I would probably, I can, you can print these things out ahead of time and just kind of see how much it's going to be cut off and how defunct it's going to be, if it is going to be, get funky with the, um, the gutter. If it's a smaller magazine, it's a lot less issues. When you start to get into really thick magazines, obviously it's it's that that middle part is a little bit thicker with that. Yeah. So you're right. We, you definitely want to be concerned about the um, the gutter area with pictures, and and in particular when you're dealing with uh, photographs of people, All right? Because if you put a face in there, it's going to get all kind of discombobulated. Yeah. Something to keep in mind. And is it okay to pull out the top of the stuff? Yeah. So in this case, I, I didn't the full article doesn't fit. Does that makes sense. We're we're laying out. So I'm not worried about the full article fitting. Um, I don't know how much longer this article would go on. Um, so that is really not the big concern here. At this point, it's just kind of doing the layouts in this kind of fashion. Um, Obviously, in real life, you would have additional pages to have the article in. And that kind of gets planned out and worked out with the art, is that art director, creative director. Um, that'll get built in. OK. But for the sake of what we're doing, I want you to get used to kind of laying out, not necessarily worrying about, did I get the full article in? Does that make sense? Other questions? So as you can see, we're, we've got the first article done on what are we, Tuesday, we're Thursday now, right? So on Tuesday, we're gonna go through the next article. We're gonna do another article. That's gonna be a three page article. Um, just again, show you how these can be done and we'll find a page of inspiration. Um, and we'll, 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 we'll pick one of our cover stories here, flying to Europe and Starry Night. So we'll just kind of pick those as kind of a basis to build out the next one. You, you can, for the sake of the project, have other articles listed here that you don't lay out. Does that make sense? So you could add in a fourth story. Um, by all means, I'm just kind of putting out three there for the sake of the class and explanations. Okay. And so I'm gonna move this over here. Kind of the, was our inspiration for that as we start to keep going. I had this picture, oops, of, of the moon. In fact, maybe I'll pull that in. Let me just do that. Yeah. Two minutes left, a couple minutes left here. Um, so I'm gonna put this other moon picture in. So I'm gonna actually just kind of pull this up to here, get rid of that one. And I'm going to pull this picture down. And I'm going to just kind of spread it off. I'm not going to bleed this photo. I just wanted to kind of have it sit in there. I'm going to line it up to the, the outside margin, but I want it to kind of overlap uh, for now. And there we go. So we got that picture dropped in. Now it's hanging low for here compared to this margin, which I think is okay. Uh, I'm going to pull up just a little bit, just from a visual standpoint. And then I, I oftentimes go back to this preview just to kind of see how it looks. 
it's good to turn off some of those guides and stuff just to help you visually look at it. Um, it's good to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so it lets you see things that you may not have seen when we're so intense on these and we're up, we're close and we're looking at these things. Um, we, we oftentimes miss. Okay, so, you know, zoom out, see that big picture, see how it's kind of laying out. Um, you know, is there things you might change or might want to do um, and your margins good. So just kind of, you know, go in and out when you're working. Um, it's a good habit. So you, you can get things the way you want. And by doing that, you're also going to see things you may not have seen when you're always zoomed in and working at this very close resolution. All right, questions? <laughs> the silence is deafening. Yes. Yeah. That's all questions for me. I, I think I'm pretty solid on what you just showed us. So okay, there's one page is good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Right. I mean if you wanted this to be just a picture with a nice titling, yes. And again, go back to you know things we looked at here, right? I mean, this is gorgeous. Right. So by all means, you could do something like here. This whole left side is literally the title with the image. This is basically a pull quote, and then this is the start of the story. Um, you know, likewise here, we've got you know the image, okay, a compelling photograph, and then we start to get into the story over here, and we got really nice type treatment, um, a story, and kind of a sub story or pull out something like that going on there. Um, so yeah, by all means. Um, Feel free. Does that make sense? I mean, again, I want you to kind of, you know, work design. Here's one where um, the pictures, in this case, are, and then they're, see they're using dummy text um, or, or placeholder text. And you can kind of see all already, like, what does that say, right? You get distracted by something instead of really just kind of looking at the words and how they fit on the page. So, um, you know, the only way, reason I would do this is I'm just kind of do some quick mock-ups, but for the sake of a project like this, I would want to use real text, okay? Um, and I would want my images to coordinate with what we're doing here, right? Because, you know, we have this here, and if it's, you know, an article about scuba diving, it says, you know, the best, you know, the best scuba ever, and then we get this picture, we're like, well, yeah, she's in a bathing suit, but she's got a camera, and we know that doesn't go in the water. What's this got to do with scuba diving? Type of thing. So the, the viewer is going to kind of start to think things that they don't need to think about instead of just kind of focusing on, you know, the beautiful art and design that you're creating here with your layouts. Okay. Other questions? Um, I think I've got everything graded that those that have sent in some stuff. Um, those that haven't, please get the remaining work in. You know who you are, look at the, look at the grading thing now, you can figure that out. Um, so, you know, get that caught up. We've got a couple of weeks left, but I'll just keep reminding you to catch that up and I'll try to keep up on all of that as we go. Um, Questions? So you should have you hopefully quote your your theme for your magazine. Um, at this point, I would start working on definitely the cover, and then um, start getting into the layouts. We'll keep going through layouts for the next couple classes, um, just to get you more comfortable with it, more familiar. And again, I'll keep showing different things, tips, the things I'm looking for or worried about as I'm working. Um, so you guys can start to see the things that kind of go into doing that layout. All right, anything else? That's good. I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yet. All right. Um, all right. Have a great weekend. We're, yeah, we're Thursday. Have a great weekend. Um, I'll get this put up online. I'll get that. Mm -hmm. 
and um, we'll go from there. If you have questions, let me know, and we'll talk to each other on Tuesday. All righty. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Have a good one.